I think it just like I have to believe it's because we collectively fail to recognize what rape is at its core and what drives the rapist where the incentive is not sex it's really not about sex it is about violence and control and it is about overpowering another human being and dehumanizing them through the vehicle of sex but rape at its very core is soul murder and there's there's really no way around that and so i started um I started an organization called Tear Speak, and it stands for Teaching and Empowering Assault Rape Survivors. And it was about, like, the, the core of it was to, to educate society about the lifelong effects that rape has on an individual, to equip the loved ones that are walking alongside survivors, and then to also empower survivors to live beyond surviving. To live beyond, and what I mean by that is by, I was left alive by my attacker. I was continuing to exist, but that doesn't mean that I was living a full life. I was meeting all these milestones. I was meeting all these, you know, I got married. I I had three kids and I was doing all the, the things that people were saying, wow, you're such an overcomer. You're such a survivor. But the reality was, is that I was so numb inside to just be able to continue existing. And I knew that there had to be more for me than just that. And I wanted to live and reclaim my life. I just didn't know how. And so I was, I started this journey of that on this, you know, with tears speak. And, um, it just really led me to, to write my book, to expand my reach to, to do all those things that I just outlined as far as educating society, equipping loved ones and law enforcement and anybody who works in a vocational capacity with survivors. And then um, also to just empower survivors to see so that they feel seen, that they, they know that they're not alone and to know that reclaiming a life after such a horrific event is possible.